Today I am skipping a tutorial on the menus for a tutorial on how to create an accurate ruler for your canvas. So we're going to come up here to the plus sign and I have a canvas size here that I made a while back that's 8 by 10 it's for a book that I put on Amazon. Let's do a new canvas which is this plus sign right here with the folder. We're going to go into inches. You can do centimeters or millimeters. That's all good. And let's do a width of 10 and a height of 8 inches. 300 dpi and as you can see on this iPad I have 256 maximum layers. You will have more or less depending on which iPad you have. So I am now going to call this ten by eight. Portrait. And we will click on create. And that brings up this canvas. Now a lot of people have found that they would really like to be able to measure what they are doing for things like stickers, architecture, um, scale modeling, all that good stuff. So what we're going to do is come over into the calligraphy. And we're going to choose the model line brush. And I have this set all the way down to the bottom at 1. And we're going to go up here to the Actions menu. That's the wrench slash spanner. And we'll go over to Canvas. And we'll turn on Drawing Guide right here. And we're going to do an Edit Drawing Guide. And then we're going to tap on this number here. Uh, the grid size is at 95px, which is pixels. We're going to tap on that. And I'm going to choose inches. And I'm going to choose 1. So the grid is now set into 1 inch increments. We click Done on that. We can change this around a little bit if we want. I'm going to leave it as is for now. Let's come up here and I'm going to change to a blue color because I like the blue color. And then down here on opacity, I'm just going to put that all the way up here to max. That way I can see the blue lines very easily. Let me click on done and we tap here on the layers. And we're going to put layer 1 onto Drawing Assist. And we're going to make a line going all the way across the bottom. Now what we want to do is create vertical lines. So I'm going to create another layer, layer 2, and we're going to put the Drawing Assist on it. And we're just going to zoom in here. And, I don't know, about half this square should be good. Maybe a little bit more. And you can see that here. If I tap on the selection arrow, you will notice that this yellow line at the bottom and the green line at the top are just slightly to the left of our blue grid. I'm going to tap right over here just once and that puts it right on the grid and that's going to be our indicator because that is the center line of your line let's duplicate layer two by sliding to the right and then i'm going to move the duplicate over to here and i'm going to measure it up the exact same way and i'm going to duplicate it again and do it again 
and then we're going to duplicate again and go again and I'm going to do it a fifth time and you can see here I'm getting this yellow line that is the center line of our canvas just make sure that your yellow line and your green line are lined up with your grid line and you're good to go now I can either tap on each of these layers and choose this merge down which as you can see is second from the bottom or I can pinch these layer twos together and that puts them all together for me I can duplicate that and we're gonna slide it all the way over now if you find you're not able to slide as smoothly as I'm doing here tap down here at snapping make sure that magnetics and snapping are both on now let's zoom in on this and I just want to make sure that, that first line is directly over the first line there and that gives us all of our grids here and now I'm going to merge my two layer twos together I'm going to duplicate them and then I'm gonna get clever I'm gonna take these and put them down so that they're at the halfway point at the bottom turn it off turn it back on and then when I bring them back up again they are half the size of our inch marks let's go over here to drawing guide drawing the edit drawing guide and we're gonna tap on the grid size and we're gonna to go to 0.5 and give that a done and then it's just a matter of taking this entire row and you'll have to use your eye to see that the line is there in the middle it's going to leave an extra one here that's blank so we're going to duplicate this and we'll just take that entire line slide it down and match these two up against each other and there we go we can merge these down and now what I'm going to do is because they were duplicated they're now just a bit fuzzy I'm gonna hit my selection tool that's the S ribbon it's on automatic I will tap you can see how some of this is highlighted and some of it isn't let's drag that threshold up until I get an outline around the whole thing and then I can tap on the layer and say clear and that puts it back to a nice crisp line which we will now duplicate and we will move the duplicate down once again we're going to cut off half of it and then we're going to go into the edit drawing guide and we're going to click on grid size it says zero inches because it's less than zero inches we're going to make it 0.25 done and we're going to do the exact same thing here that we did before I'm going to take this and move it down and center this line onto the grid and then once again we duplicate that and slide it all the way over and it looks like our best bet is to do it this way and we'll tap it over till it's centered and there we go we got a ruler started there I am now going to pinch all of these layers together and then I'm going to go back to my actions menu 
go to add and I'm going to add text now this text I'm gonna choose a nice easy to read one Arial's good I want it really really small let's move that down to here so that we can see where it's going and what it's doing I'm going to on the attributes choose this first one that way the text is all the way over there and I think a size 11 point is a bit small let's go to 14 and maybe not let's try 16 I like 16 and then we're gonna go right here to the keyboard and this is where we start typing I'm gonna start off with a bunch of spaces and whenever I'm around this one I'm gonna type 1 and we'll come over here you notice that it put a period there I'll back up until I get rid of that and then I'll go forward again and this is where we're gonna put a 2 I'm gonna do a space and then if I just sit here for you know just a few seconds I can then put spaces without it putting a period if you take too long or too short of a time then when you do your spaces you're gonna get a period you just back up get rid of it and there we go let's make that five and you notice that I'm running out of room on this you just simply take this blue dot right here and stretch it all the way out and already I see a problem but we'll take care of that in a minute let's go to six and seven and eight and nine and your tenth inch would be right here at this edge so we don't really need to put anything in there I'm going to tap on the A's right here at the top right and then do done and then what I noticed is I have a mark here and a mark here but I don't have a mark there so we need to fix that I'm going to try duplicating layer one and then flip it horizontal and that takes care of the problem I can now merge those down let's go ahead and select outside at the top and the bottom see how parts of that are highlighted and we will clear this and now I'm going to take this layer and I'm going to choose rasterize and the reason we're rasterizing this layer is so we can get these numbers put in a decent place now you can have them here you can have them next to it here I'm gonna put them next to it here and then what I'm going to do is click the selection ribbon I'm gonna choose rectangle and I'm going to put a rectangle around the one and then come up here and tap on the arrow key and I'm just going to tap over here you can see this and I'm not sure if I want the one above that quarter mark so let's try putting it in between I'm going to go to my drawing guide let's make this point 12.5 that's actually 0.125 yes okay we'll click done and this way I can see where these are at 
but I don't like where the grid is hitting everything. So I'm just going to find the middle point. And you can drag that any old place. I'm just going to drag it down here. And I'm going to make that middle point line up with any of these lines. Then when we click Done, we can select the number 1. And we can match it right there. Let's do the same thing with number 2. Draw the box, go to the arrow, and tap it over. And I'm now going to quickly go through the rest of them. Okay, now I'm going to go up to the Actions menu and turn off the Drawing Guide. I'm going to merge these three layers together. I'm not sure what's in Layer 3. What is in Layer 3? Select Layer Empty. Let's delete that. And I will merge Layer 2 down into Layer 1. Turn off the Drawing Assist. And now, no matter which grid I use, I can actually come over here and put this back to 1. Drawing Assist is not on. And I can now draw a circle. One tap with the other hand. And we can get this circle down To an inch pretty darn easily and then put it pretty much anywhere we want. You can do this with inches, centimeters, and millimeters. It makes a very handy way of measuring. You can have it going across like this. You can do it going up and down and that way you can measure both directions. I hope this has helped you out, and I hope you have a wonderful day.